so uh, we are going to uh, understand one uh, interesting question if you have given one integer suppose if you have given one integer 1 2 3 and you have to reverse it how you can do that or suppose you have a minus number suppose minus 3 4 2 so you should make it the 2 4 3 so this is the problems how you are going to solve that so before that you should know the concept in java or any other language what is the modulo or you can also say what is the remainder so suppose if you divide 5 divided by 2 so you will get the answer 1 as an integer right because uh, this one uh, it will uh, it will you divide the 5 by 2 so you will get the 2.5 and if you take the uh, integer it is a 2 right but if you take the modulus of 5 by 2 it will become the 1 right so this is called the division and this is called the modulus modulus means after division what is the remaining is there that is the decimal right so for the better understanding let me do that if you 5 modulus 3 what become so if you divide by 5 uh, by 3 so you remainder we get the 2 right this is the 2 so this is how the modulus is work right so suppose you have the number uh, 15 when you're giving the modulus 2 so obviously we become the 1 right because by 7 it will detect the 14 and remaining is the 1 and suppose if you have the number 15 and if you give the modulus by 10 so of course 10 in the 10 in the 1 10 ones are 10 and then 15 remaining is the 5 right so suppose if you have the number of the 2 7 6 and modulus 10 what you will get 270 detect and you will get the 6 suppose you have this number modulus 10 you will get the 9 so you can see that after modulus by 9 after modulus by 10 you are getting the last digit number right this number is this number here so any number suppose 4 5 3 7 if you given the modulus by 10 you will get the last number so with the help of the modulus 10 you can easily get the last digit so this funda we are going to use here right this is the one concept and second things let me just uh, do that for the 123 then I will again explain you here. This is very easy one but uh, we have some little bit complexity that I will explain you. So suppose you have 1, 2, 3. So what you have to do suppose this is the n right 1, 2, 3. So what you have to do you have to check modulus n by 10 you will get the 3 right. And then you take one variable, suppose this is the return variable or reverse variable, anything. You have to make this number, right? But for the time being, you got the 3. Now you do n into n by 10. So when you do the n by 10, so what happened? 123 by 10, you will get the 12 in the integer format, right? So now you have the both you have this last digit also and the remaining number also right so now easily you can do that so what happened that you take one integer reverse and make the reverse starting time 0 so 0 into 10 0 and add this modulus value so what is the modulus value right now 3 so in the reverse you will get the 3 right again you do the same operation so now this time n become the 12 so 12 more 10 you will get the 2 so now do the reverse into 2 so this time reverse is equal to 3 3 into 10 30 and 30 plus m is equal to 32 and n by n 10 now it will become the 12 
12 by 10 it become the 1 right now again do that now this time this is the 1 1 modulus 10 is become the 1 and came here 32 into 10 320 plus modulus 1 you become the 321 and n by n 10 1 by 10 it become the 0 and you got your reverse number right so you have to run this loop until your number is not 0 right then what you have to do you have to make the modulus m is equal to this one and then you have to divide n by 10 so next time this you can do this operation and whatever the reverse is go to there so reverse into 10 plus m and this is the complete code by that you can get the numbers so let me see in the code then i will show where is the complexity i will explain the code because when you do the big integer number then might be this logic could not work so it will first show in the code then again i will come and explain what is the solution that so let me see that so what i will do first we will take what is the return of the reverse and take the zero and as we discuss our x or oh, in uh, why would i use the n right so use the same n here we have to n till that n become the zero right so we have to do that and then very simple take the uh, remainder or the modulus value that is n modulus 10 and then n divided by the 10 for the next timer and reverse is equal to reverse into 10 and add the m that is the code very simple code so and return the m let me run this code <coughs> So if let me put one use case one, one, two, three, right? So let you run it. <coughs> so it should work because this is a very simple code. And uh, we turn not return M, we turn reverse the reverse. <coughs> we are making all the uh, data in the reverse, right? So if you see that is working. I gave the one, two, three, it become the one um, three two one. Even if you give the minus, so minus would also work. So if you give the minus four five something it should also work so you can see it is coming minus yeah input was a three four seven eight output is the eight seven four three right is working but problem is that suppose i want to give this number you give this number this one big number right and then try to run it so according to i should get the nine six four six three two four three five one but see what it is coming here it is saying the wrong number why because if you see the output it is not the correct and expecting the zero because that number goes beyond the integer value so how you can solve that right so let us go to the whiteboard so you seen that in the code when you're using this number uh, integer max value or the big number it was not giving the result right as per the use case as per the problem statement if you have this kind of problems or this kind of number you should return the zero but you have, might have seen that you are getting the, some negative number that is not make any sense so why it is happening because why happened when this is the problem here so when you doing the reverse is equal to 10 and after multiplying by 10 if it is hitting more than the integer max value then it is giving the negative number so you have to something do here to fix the problem so suppose if i do check if i want to check that if reverse into 10 greater than and equal integer max value then return 0 will it work it will not work 
बिकॉज द मोमेंट यू वी अगेन मल्टीप्लाई इट वी गो मोर देन द इंटीजर सो यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट ए पॉइंट बिफोर मल्टीप्लाइंग द टेन वेदर इट इज गोइंग बियॉन्ड द इंटीजर मैक्स वैल्यू और नॉट सो फॉर दैट वॉट यू हैव टू डू डॉन्ट दिस थिंग्स मीन्स डू नॉट डू दिस कंपेरिजन रिवर्स इन टू मैक्स इज कल टू इंटीजर मैक्स वैल्यू Don't confusion this one. Instead of that, you check reverse this ten. You make it here. So if this ten is is this reverse number is greater than equal integer max value by ten, you should check these conditions. Then your code will work, right? so because the problem is that when you do the multiplication it is already going beyond the integer max value right so you have to give this conditions here so if this is greater or equal than by 10 then it should return the zero and same thing you have to check for the mean value also that will be seen in the code then so you have to just add one conditions here so reverse if it is reverse greater than in a white board i use the greater than equal but you have to use only the greater integer max value and one more condition if reverse is less than integer mean value if this is the case then we term zero that's it no you have to divide it by 10 here that i forgot right so you have to divide it by 10 And here also divided by ten. No one. So it is accepted, right? It is output is zero and expecting the output zero. Let us commit the code and see it is accepting or not. It should accept because I have already tested it. Accepted, right? It is accepted. If you go more detail, you can see that it is accepted. Uh, thank you very much.